Have you ever wanted to put one of these onto your PCB? This is an automotive relay. Sure, you can buy a socket and solder it into your PCB, but they're quite expensive and bulky. And then, what if you wanted to add one of these? Or one of these? Or one of these? Are you going to buy a socket for this, then one for this, one for this, and one for this? And then when you get a new device, you're going to have to buy a new socket again? I don't think that's a good idea. Instead, you can just order these. These guys are through-hole solder terminals, which are actually a female spade. You've got them in 6.2 millimeters and 4.8 millimeters. There's a couple other sizes too, but what's so weird about these things is they are so hard to find, especially on sites like AliExpress. Now they are available on places like DigiKey and Mouser, etc. However, sometimes you have to buy them in thousand or more off quantities and they come on a metal lattice so you have to break them apart. In fact, every time I try to reorder these, I have to go back into my AliExpress history and order it from the same seller. They are very hard to find via search. So I've dropped the links in the description below. I love these things because I can use the exact same ones to make a footprint for some of these, which is a breaker, some of these, which is a large toggle switch, and these guys, which are an automotive relay. You just have to remake the footprint every single time, but the footprint of these individual pieces are the same. I needed two sizes because this one here has smaller pins in one orientation than in the other. But that means that everything is well adaptable now. I can put fuses, and my personal favorite, I can make a wire to PCB interconnect that is high current and very convenient. I've used these to design this PCB Way project, which is actually part of a larger project, which is going to be my trailer tester. But as you can see, these pins are the same and these three pins are the same. And then you just take your component and you can slide it in there. And if you're good at making footprints, you should be able to make anything. For me, buying the individual sockets for each component was out of the question because first of all, I can fit parts underneath the components. And second of all, when I need this many devices on the same PCB, the cost really starts adding up. So as you can see here, I have five channels of relays, I have six channels of breakers, and I even have a MOSFET over here. And all this in a board that is smaller than the 10 by 10 centimeter maximum size to be a inexpensive PCB. Let's plug this PCB in and let me show you it in action. So just a quick rundown on this project then before it is officially completed. Uh, so you basically have six channels you can access with a microcontroller which will be on a separate daughter board. You've got uh, 12 volts coming in with a ground and then it's supposed to activate the channels of a trailer system. So we've got uh, left brake, right brake, parking lights, then we have um, auxiliary, reverse lights, and then power brakes as well. That's what the MOSFET was for. I just screwed up the configuration a little bit. So I've got 12 volts here coming in, and these guys are powered by 12 volts. And all these inputs are actually controlled by an optocoupler. That is the circuit that is underneath the breakers. So right there. So this is safe for your microcontroller. I'll just grab 12 volts here, because you can use kind of any voltage, and then I'll go through and activate one, two, three, four, and five. And for those of you that don't care much about uh, trailer testing, this is just basically a five relay system protected by a breaker. So these are specifically 15 amp breakers, but if you want to have a little bit more protection, you can use five amp breakers of the exact same size and they'll fit right in. And so yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you about. You can buy these little terminals and add them to your next PCB project and then hit my the link in the description to go to PCB Way and buy your PCBs from there. Thanks for watching.